Hello, and welcome. Today we're watching a Zen player named Culpa. All right, we're going top with our team. I like the high ground. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, immediately, zero value here, right? So you come out, you see your cast, you see an arrow, and then you kind of just stare at your cast. What are you looking at? You're looking at nothing. And what I would do here, I mean, it's fine watching the cast, but you don't need to be in this room doing nothing. Put the orb on the cast, come over here, take an angle. Start shooting, ba 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 boom. All right. And it's fine if you want to push the uh, orb the cast, take this angle, peek, come back here to keep the orb on him, you know, jiggle peek back and forth. You don't have to get a ton, but if you just shoot, shoot a few shots, I mean, imagine if you were already over here, all right? You orb, you orb this Cassidy, you're already over here. You take this angle, you see the fucking Hanzo, you nega orb him, <laughs> discord him, and shoot him in the head. Boom, dead. You don't have to shoot him in the head at this HP. You shoot him in the foot with the discord, and he's dead. All right, moving forward. All right, again, we're not shooting. We're kind of just floating. Come on, get, get to it. All right, you don't need to charge like that. If you can just see people, just start shooting them. You do more DPS just left clicking and shooting than you do charging right click. Charging right click is for coming around corners on flanks when you don't necessarily see people or you're trying to sneak up on someone. If, if, you, if you're just shooting from the front line or from the back line in front of the enemy team, just left click. Uh, all right, let's move forward. Okay. Again, uh, or right here. So your cast jumps down. You're shooting at their front line, but there's a flanker, like, right here. I mean, this, this Reaper should be dead, right? He's between your Reaper, your Cassidy. What's he doing? You, he shouldn't be there. Okay, but you're shooting over here instead of shooting this guy. So, you charge this, you shot this, you need to address him now. And you can see your Reaper's critical. You need to get the healing orb on him. And one more thing, since, since this may be a question that you asked. You, say, you might say, I'm leaving the Harmony on Cassidy until he's full. So critical, Cassidy's not full, but that's where Harmony is. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need to be full health. Get the Harmony down there. Cassidy's not in any danger anymore. Everyone's backed up and Cassidy's back here. He's not in any danger. He doesn't need healing. You need to get that orb down to your team, onto the Reaper. You're not, yeah, there we go, okay. So we're shooting the front line, your Reapers died. Throwing healing. Holding the same angle. I would like to see you take some kind of action here, some kind of risk. Um, we're kind of just sitting here shooting. At no point did we try to take another angle to see them from like here, maybe. And when they're back here, now. The Reaper was over here. That's fine. He should have been dead. But say we killed that Reaper. The enemy team is back here. We need to move up. So let's let's watch that again. Let's just go back here. From your perspective. Okay. We're shooting him. This is what we should be doing. Okay, he's pushing up. Climbing the objective. Okay, Get yeah. Yeah. Here. So from at this point we should have moved over here probably to look for an angle we could see that reaper we could jump down here get another angle on that reaper and still be safe from the rest of his team if the rest of the team sees you jumping down which i don't think they would from that angle you can always fall back to the mega you can always rotate back through this way but up here we're not getting a ton of value we need to look for some damage especially when we're potentially about to lose this fight. Okay. 
Okay. Fort here and fort hard. Your team pulls it off. Oh, your gas dies. Okay. Again, same thing. Your team turned it around. You're, you're healing, which is great. You're keeping the healing up. You're shooting. That's good. But at this point, there's what? One, two, three people from your team, two from theirs. Now, I wouldn't suggest you run at Reaper or Junker Queen. But at this point, you're up one. And will it swing over to you? Yes, it will. You're, you're up one, so you can start taking a more aggressive angle. Now Reaper's dead. Now it's time to move forward. You need to get in there. But you, uh, you keep holding this angle, and you're not, you're, you're not contributing again. So you've got two people on point. You're back here. It's 3v1 is what it should be. But you're kind of just chilling. You, you're not really doing anything. You didn't discord the Drinker Queen there. When you had the opportunity. Right there. Oh, nope. I actually... It had fallen off of her. Never mind. You couldn't have. There was still a little time on the cooldown. But you should be moving up so that you can get an angle on her and be participating in this fight. You can't see her. You're not doing anything. You can't see her. You're not doing anything. She's still there. She's still there. Someone dies because she's still there. And she's going to just get out. You're not doing anything. Still not doing anything. All right. Now you've moved forward. Is now you're moving forward as their suffering. team is coming into you. Which, this position isn't necessarily bad. But, moving forward when their team is coming at you is not usually the best idea. At this moment, this is a fine angle. But, we're going to need to just retreat here in a moment because their team coming in. Yeah, you, you tank's dead. Yeah. And now you're just backing up. You're standing out in the open. So you get out of there. And let, let's watch this from, from the top. Remember, they can see you from here. They're, they're back here. They can see you. They have a Hanzo and a Kiriko. You don't want to be out in the open. You could just get logged. So let's see the sight lines. You're just out in the open to them. Right? Now, I'm not saying that the Hanzo at whatever MMR this is, is going to get this. But why are you letting him, you know, even attempt it? Play the corner. You can do anything you do from right here, you can do from here. You can peek the corner and you can shoot at them. So let's move forward. Okay, you cross fine. But again, let's see this. You're just open to Hanzo. You're, if you're here, you can play from back here. You can do whatever you're doing from here. And this is a pretty non aggressive angle. But you could be peeking from the statue. Shooting here, use the statue's cover, shoot here. This, this angle, closes off Hanzo to you and allows you to see Kiriko. Kiriko's not going to one-shot you. I mean, neither is Hanzo currently, but it allows you to fire back at her. And this is a good time. This position would be a good time for right clicks. You're not going to just left click, win a match, you know, win across the map. You can hide here, charge your right clicks, peek out shoot a volley maybe you get a kill maybe you do a ton of damage to the junk queen fall back right right click charge up now you peek from this angle they don't know where you're going to peek from they don't know which side you're going to peek out of they don't know where you're going to shoot this is a good time to use your right clicks all right you're just standing out in the open again this is so dangerous so dangerous Okay, you're kind of firing forward. Time for the reckoning. Okay, and Junker Queen goes on you. All right. So what what should we have been doing here, right? All right. This is we we talked about this. 
You shouldn't be just standing here out in the open. Again, you use your cover. And then you can fire up this way, whatever. Hanzo's just staring at you. Okay. So you decide to go forward here. Shooting at the front line. Okay, that's fine. But again, cover, 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 cover. Okay, you're moving forward. If you're if you're going to move forward here, <laughs> right? Again, you're just not in cover. You need to be shooting from back here, back here. If you want to go forward, if you think your team's going forward, like your Reaper is, I, which where is your tank? Okay, she's right there. So you don't you don't want to start moving forward here until she is making some kind of advancement. But once you do start moving forward, take cover. Get over here. You know, you can shoot from these angles and not get shot. You don't want to go here because there's a Reaper, but you need to keep your eyes open. At this point, I would be I would probably be playing from back here until your team moves forward. Okay, your team's getting aggressive, so all these guys have aggressed. And this is probably quick play, obviously, since they're aggressing without your tank. Since they're moving forward. And they've got this area covered like right so you want to come here you want to come here now and that would let you see this reaper and start opening fire on him because right now i well you might be able to see him at this moment but if you come this way the reaper is not going to just run at you he'd have to cross the cassie he'd have to cross the moira he'd be right next to the, your reaper like this closes you off to the enemy team allows you to take that fight and potentially save someone on your team Okay, and since you didn't do this, now Reaper's going to come at your Cassidy and just run past him. All right, he's just long shooting at your Moira. But again, if you were here, you'd be fending this off because that would be what you would primarily be focusing on. So you're kind of just shooting. Do we have our heal on anybody? Yep, we sure do. Okay. So at this point, you're down two, right? You guys have made your attempt. You're down two. It's time to get really aggressive. When you're losing, you got to try to make a play. You don't try to make a play necessarily when you're winning. You, you really go for those play of the games when you're losing because you need to swing the fight. So when your team starts dying here, okay, you've lost one support. You've lost your Moria. You know you can't heal all these people up. You've got a critical Reaper back here. You can't keep everyone alive. You've got to go win the fight. Okay, you walk forward and you walk backwards. No, this is where you mess up. At this point, oh, at this point, you should have already been here fighting the Reaper. At this point, you needed to come over here. Right, you need to open up this angle and start going on the back line. Remember, your Zenyatta has no footsteps. No one can hear him walking. They can only hear him shooting. So you float your little ass over here. You keep the orb on your Reaper, and you start going to town on Mercy's head. You just blah, 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 right all over. Or you take the fight with the Kiriko. I would prefer you not take the fight with the Hanzo, but of all the support characters to fight Hanzo, you're not a bad one. Because as you're coming across here, right, you can either try to be sneaky and, you know, take this angle, but you're going to have to get headshots. But once once you're here and no one's come to stop you, you start charging your right click, pop out this corner, unleash a volley. Who knows what you hit? Then you start left clicking and maybe you turn the fight. But as this is going, the Junker Queen's going to ulti you and you're just going to lose. All right, you got two dead. Here comes the Junker Queen ulti. Okay, so you trance to save your own life. Your team's gonna die because they're anti. Or no one on the enemy team can aim. <laughs> Which okay, fair enough. Cast rolls out. Somehow Chunker Queen doesn't get just obliterated. Good enough. Let's see what happens. That's crazy. <laughs> What are we doing? Your Junker Queen's making a mistake, obviously, right? I like 
<laughs> you're down. Why is she going in? It's because she's full health. But you back up here, which is fine. You're expecting your Dragon Queen to back up. Put the healing orb on her. At least. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to save her, realistically. She shouldn't be there. Put the healing orb on her. You throw two left clicks without healing her. It wouldn't have mattered, but still. Get the healing orb on her. She's critical. She's your tank. Put some priority on it. Put it on cast. Come on, yeah. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing right now? Are you waiting for your team to regroup? Not necessarily the thing to do. You always want to be trying to accomplish something. Right now, you're accomplishing nothing. You're getting no value. Now, obviously, you don't want to peek this corner, right? You know this is the main. This is where Hans is shooting. Flow over here, man. Come over here. Take an angle. Start throwing some shots. They look at you. They don't even have to shoot at you. If you see someone's character model turn towards you, just fucking leave. At least do something. Be doing something. It doesn't have to be amazing. It doesn't have to get a ton of value. You don't even have to hit a fucking shot. If someone turns their body away from the main choke and has to think, oh shit, maybe there's this maybe i have to watch this other direction that instantly makes your brain take up two different processes they have to think about two different things the more things that the enemy is forced to think about the more likely they are to mess up all right all right what are you doing watch this you you see hanzo's arrows right you're seeing them fly in Okay, that should automatically be an indicator. Don't cross. He's, he's spamming. He's looking for luck. The more shots fired, the more chances at dinking someone you have. And you're saying, all right, Hanzo, let's see how lucky you can get. And so is your Moira, which is insane. And then there's a sonic arrow that hits. You can see the effect of it. It has a specific effect. It's got all this trails and bullshit, and you can hear it. Listen to the sound for the sonic arrow. Okay. Chaos haunts your path. Once he's done that, he can see you. He's Hanzo, right? He now sees you through the walls. You hit him once, but this is this is so dangerous. You were literally taking a super range duel. For no reason. Now, you may win this just because of the lobby. You get hit twice, you die. Right? Right? Why are you peeking? <laughs> You're peeking a Sonic. Let's, let's watch that from the enemy's perspective. Are they down one right now, too? Yeah. Okay. So watch this from the Hanzo's perspective. He sonics, you walk out. It literally looked like you were waiting for him to sonic from his perspective and said, Hey, let's see if you can kill me. Let's put that let's put that ability to the test. Let's put that sonic air to the test. You can't hide. And hi, I'm Zen. Okay, pay attention to what's going on around you. Don't peek Hanzo's like that. Okay, we respawn. Our team gets killed, our team dies. Okay, it's you and your tank. You're not gonna win this fight. You put the healing on. Okay, good. All right, no, all right. Oh, okay, what are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at? What are we doing? <laughs> if if you think someone's going to peek, I get shooting. You're a projectile hero. But your team's dead. If you're looking for... Okay, your team's dead. This is great right here. This part, great. Okay. All right, you saw Reaper back up. Your, your Discord is on him, which tracks him. So you know, you know, okay. You know he went back here. 
Okay, you need to look for an angle. Okay, you've taken damage. Okay, what what do we do here? Okay. My ultimate's almost ready. Do I mind you doing this with the Kiriko? <laughs> yes. If Kiriko tells her Hanzo that you're up here and he throws a Sonic and they just happen to both hit at the same time, you're dead. This is so risky. This is so risky. What well what I would recommend here, if you if you want to do this and you're taking these, get an angle up by the store because this isn't this isn't conducive to much except for like narrowing an angle get where you can see her and where you can like poke and jitter because again this is where you can charge the right clicks you know if kiriko starts doing this duel with you you can charge the right clicks and unleash right now this reaper is going to come up here but you don't know that yet but again if you're charging your right clicks and reaper appears on you just you can just pop him in the head zen's not bad against reaper on the corner duel you wait for him to come around the corner and you're gonna you're probably gonna hear this teleport but you can charge and when he comes around the corner you can nail him in the head okay you're shooting you're shooting why are we reloading we've got 14 out of 25 ammo we don't need to reload now you're going to start reloading and you're going to probably finish the reload animation instead of canceling it. And this Reaper's, I'm guessing, going to kill you. Okay. So, cancel the reload animation when you see the Reaper, right? You can kick to cancel it. Then put the Discord on him. And then. If you don't win the duel, that's fine. But slow down your shots. You just shot a wall. Okay. Maybe if you had had Discord on him and you hadn't wasted a shot on the wall and said, kept your aim, maybe you win that. It's potential. With Discord, you already got him halfway down. If you hit one more shot instead of the wall, you might have won that. So slow down. And don't reload an, <laughs> a clip missing 11 shots. Oh. Okay. And the round's over. You're out in the open again. Okay. That, that's whatever. You could have switched characters to try to touch point. We're playing Zen. That's fine. Uh... We've got Sombra, May now. Same tanks, same support, or same tanks, same supports. Okay. Taking high ground. I'm going to guess you're not with your team at all. Okay. If someone goes on you, you have no one to back you up. Now, good positioning and is relative. A great position can come become terrible pretty easily if the team moves if your team if the enemy team moves if your team moves pretty suddenly you're just in a shit situation if they have a sombra if they had a tracer you know what who's going to help you no one you have to win the duel you need to be more near your team and I know that can kind of suck because you want to be high ground. You want to take advantage of the high ground. Your team didn't go high ground. Why didn't your team go high ground? There could be big brain reasons. There could be small brain reasons. Uh, May is going to accelerate more around all this cover, right? Wall is an extension of cover or can be. May is going to do better on the ground. Uh, you also have Sombra. She doesn't really care where she is. Junker Queen likes cover. You know, she doesn't have any way to protect herself other than shout. So, 
your team isn't really looking for the high ground advantage here based on their kits and they're not there regardless even if, even if all their kits loved high ground they're not there to help you you're just alone okay what are we doing what are we doing okay all right again what are you doing you're you're just you're kind of just floating you shoot at the hanzo did you just reload after like six shots yeah you're at 18 to 25 ammo why are you reloading you need to you stay out here and, and unless someone's actively firing at you you can stay out here and keep shooting and keep looking for a new angle if you were rotating if you were rotating and like there's nothing for you to possibly shoot at it's fine to reload but you have actions you can take right now from here you don't need to be back here enough you're not threatened right so what happens like let's actually look at this one more time you see hanzo you haven't thrown out harmony you see hanzo you start shooting at hanzo that's fine you're gonna discord him okay he runs away at this point you decide hanzo ran away so i'm gonna run away why you made hanzo back up it is now your time to do more you push hanzo away you need to do more keep going <laughs> you have achieved value get more value you are now giving up your value why are we taking so long to shoot at this kiriko right A shadow hangs over you. you see kiriko now you discord her start shooting discord start shooting she's shot two shots before you discord four shots and you haven't shot a shot shoot at her make her stop looking at you make her back up you'll why are we not healing Sombra? Why are we not shooting? What are we doing? We're not healing our Sombra. The objective is now we're not shooting anything. Right? We're not going to shoot the Reaper that's raising, but we see Azaria. Throw a shot at her. Reaper's now out. We're not shooting at him. We're not shooting at him. We finally discord him. Okay. Well, what have we accomplished? And we, and we die right so this this high ground angle is great for taking fights had it when you were over let's see we're backing up now right when you were over here you need to you need to be trying to make a play you're at a safe angle you can play well you're not right now you're not in cover right here you're in cover this is great you know if we if we open up here somber jumps down we go over here to cover and we start like we're already shooting zarya goes away we see reaper we're in cover we start shooting maybe we win this fight maybe reaper dies you should have been healing your your uh sombra as she jumped down she would have more health and she would have her harmony on her or your harmony on her maybe we kill this reaper but we don't and now you're alone they come after you and you and you die okay so comp change we're now on rhine with an ana and Savamora. it looks like you're gonna go high ground alone again I'm checking in. This is mostly on your Rhine. He's being aggressive with no support from your Ana. Had you been with him to keep harmony on him, he still probably would have died. Nah. You're still alone, though. We go for a volley at uh, incredibly long range. And we Would get the Hanzo. Okay. I don't mind this as an off angle. And let me be clear. Being alone is not always a bad thing. 
but being alone when you have no idea what the enemy team can do is a bad thing. It will get you killed. You know they have no flankers. You know that your biggest threat are Hanzo and Kiriko, so you're okay to be alone on the high ground here. My spirit burns. And, and you see, taking that off angle, you drew a lot of attention, and they had to respond to it. That's great. Okay, what are we doing? Get get the orb out. Okay. Again, awareness here. You should you should stop right here and start shooting the Hanzo. <laughs> right? Hanzo's firing at your Sombra. He can easily turn and fire at you. Just stop. Use this corner. You come all the way out. You're not exposed to Hanzo. You're exposed to Kirika. You're exposed to Life Weaver. And, and what is the intention here? Like, what are you trying to accomplish? Are you coming all the way out here to maybe help this part of your team? Well, you should know that they're not viewable from here because you can see them through the walls. You should be trying to help Sombra. You know she's critical. Yeah, you have your orb on her. The other thing you can do other than heal her is help her win the fight with the thing that's making her vulnerable. Okay, you do a double take. We're charging a volley. We're... Okay. I don't I, I don't care as much about the volley as this reload. Because again, we have twelve ammo, right? Like we we don't need to constantly be reloading. And you're reloading when Hanzo's leaping in front of you. You should be peppering him already. Here. Why are we right clicking objective. here? Okay. You see it, just left click. It does more damage. It's more DPS to just left click. We're all numbered. Yeah, you're just you're just refusing to left click and and add damage in here. You're trying to get these big right click shots and that aren't needed. You're not you're not going to get them. You, they know where you're at. That you've been pinged. You've been up here for quite a while. You're not going to surprise anyone with your right click. Left click on the left. Left click, left click, left click, left click. You see people left click, left click, left click. And one last thing. Okay, we're here. We should be left clicking Life Weaver. Zarya has turned and looked at you. There's only one place she's going to go now that she's looking at you, and it's toward you. You need to be on her now. Discord. Start laying bullets into her chest. Maybe you get the headshot. Whatever it is, you need to keep her from coming at you. But we don't do that. We spend all that time charging two right clicks and getting no value. All right. So we see Zarya now. Right click. Right click, and we run away. Shoot the Zarya. She's walking at you. Shoot her. Okay. 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 We're too close. We're too close. This started out good and went real sideways. Okay, we start charging. Great, 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 great. Unleash on the Reaper. Fantastic. Get the Discord on him. Keep shooting him. Putting Harmony on here, her would be great. But that's not what we're focused on here. Right now, this is good. This is great. He has raped. Back up. <laughs> 
you tried to follow him into a corner where the wall is, and now you're exposed to him. You don't... If there's a wall, you, he can't leave. You're not safe up here against Reaper. Let the May handle that part. If he goes tries to leave the door, you can have an angle on the door. If he tries to come over here, you're in the back. You're back here shooting, right? So if you're here and he tries to leave through this door, you've got an angle. If you're back here and he comes at this wall, you've got an angle. This wall, this, <laughs> this, this wall prevents him from going anywhere. Let May handle that. And if you wanted to push it, if you wanted to push this. Okay. One more time. Right. If you're if you're gonna do this, don't be reloading in the middle of trying to come after him. You get too close, you're dead. Right. So if you had just if you had just held your angles, let's, let's play this out right. We hit him, May comes in, we stay back here. We hold this position. If we had held right here, we'd still be back here. And when we see him raising toward us, we're already back here so we can just back up more. Now we're back here and he does this. By this point, we're over here. We're back here shooting at him, not up here. Blossom's not a threat. Over time. Now we're just not gonna it. That's over. Yeah. Okay. So big issues to be worked on. You've got to start shooting at people as soon as you see them. When you're taking angles, make sure to use your cover. Sometimes you've got to get aggressive and start participating in fights and be that swing factor. You can't just sit in the back and hope something hits. And when we're taking angles, we got we got to make sure we're using cover and think about the threats to us. Don't get popped by Hanzos. Don't get popped by Kirikos. When things are running at us, we've got to fend them off. When we're fending things off, like that Zarya or like that Reaper, we have to play at appropriate ranges. We play at our range. We don't walk toward a Reaper. We walk away from a Reaper. We have no fall off damage. He's got shotguns. All right. We'll look at the next one and we'll see how you play that.